So we're going to dive into some powerful tapping today that is going to really help to unlock the secrets and the key to you being able to leverage wealth and money. Money is an incredibly powerful resource. I give myself permission to know and own my power. I give myself permission to be happy. I give myself permission to be truly wealthy. I choose to be bold. I choose to be brave. I choose to be unstoppable. With you. Today, we are going to work through EFT and through some other release, next to release techniques at unlocking the secrets to life, to wealth, to business. So if you are here in the Online Business for Spiritual Entrepreneurs group, then you are somebody who is dedicated and committed to building an online business and you have a spiritual foundation. The reason that so many spiritual people kind of struggle with the wealth paradigm is because it's very foreign to who we are. As spiritual entrepreneurs, we struggle with the wealth system, with the money system that we have here on this planet. There is ways that you need to align yourself with the wealth paradigm to be able to use the system that we have. The system that we have is not exactly ideal. Um, there's a lot of flaws in the system and the system was actually not set up for us to succeed. For those of us who are spiritual, who are conscious, who wanna make a difference on the planet, the system was not set up for us to succeed. The system, the monetary system, the financial, um, the, the way the financial system is set up was actually designed to enslave us. And many of us as spiritual entrepreneurs find it very difficult to participate in a financial paradigm that but is based on enslavement, is based on disempowerment. Here's the key. In order to be wealthy and to actually transition a whole lot more spiritual conscious entrepreneurs into the wealth paradigm, into having this incredible, money is an incredibly powerful resource, a powerful tool. It is not the answer to all your problems but it can help you to unlock the key to living a life of purpose and passion and fulfillment and satisfaction and joy and happiness. It is a powerful key and this is how you need to treat it. So it's really important that you let go of all your judgments and criticisms about money, about the financial system, about wealthy people, because money isn't the problem. Money is not the problem. It's your belief systems. It's your judgments about money or the financial system or all that stuff. It's, and for many of us, we have unconsciously taken a stance to refuse to participate in a system that was designed around slavery. Staying in a place of lack and struggle with money is not going to help anybody, especially not you. When you are empowered with money, when you are empowered financially and you have the resources to be able to invest in solutions for people to help to provide the solution that you're here to provide on, to the planet, to serve the people who you're here to serve, when you have the financial backing and the financial resources to be able to do that, you can make a massive difference. I'm actually involved in a couple of business models and strategies that are all designed around helping the, um, helping the planet to evolve, helping people to evolve in consciousness, in transitioning our planet into the new earth paradigm. And these models could never have been birthed onto this planet or to have gained the traction and to be making the impact that they're making without the backing of conscious billionaires. There is one particular conscious billionaire who is behind this, um, this uh, one of the business models that I'm working with. 
And without his backing, they would never have been able to make the progress that they've made or the impact that they've made or transform as many people's lives as they've made. And they're delivering a product to the world that is literally going to change our world. So money is a powerful resource and it's super important that you understand that money is not the problem, that the financial system, though flawed, is not the seat of the problem. It's your internal belief systems and structures and whether you have refused to participate in the current system. So by embracing this system and by using it for good, by leveraging what we have, then we have the power to make an impact, to influence and build the world that as we would love to see it not continue to participate in the world as it is. I really want you to get this. If you continue to stay in lack or struggle or not have the, the level of resources that you need, then you have no power to change the system as we know it or very little because our system works on money. So think about it. You can do a lot with vibration. You can do a lot by elevating your consciousness. But think about combining the spiritual work and the spiritual practices that you do. Think about combining the elevating your frequency with having true wealth and being able to use that true wealth to reach more people with the wonderful solution or the wonderful product that you have, with the wonderful service that you provide to be able to impact more people and influence more people in the world, to be able to show others, other conscious spiritual entrepreneurs, how to be truly wealthy. Then we can take our planet back and our power back by using both to the best of our advantage. So we're going to dive into some powerful tapping today that is going to really help to unlock the secrets and the key to you being able to leverage wealth and money and use it to the best of your ability. What I want you to do first is think about the solution that you are committed to providing to the world. So the outcome that you want to see in the world, the influence that you want to have, the impact that you want to have, the problems that you want to solve. Where are you at as opposed to where do you want to be in relation to that? Do you want to be, do you desire to be having a lot more influence in the world? Do you desire to be able to distribute your product to a lot more people or your service to a lot more people? And you don't have to want to impact millions to make a big impact. I, I come back to none of us know really who Mahatma Gandhi's mother was. You ever heard about Mahatma Gandhi's mother? Do you know who she was? Do you know what she did? There's one thing I know that she did. She gave birth to Mahatma Gandhi. I don't know what else she did. She may have done nothing in her community. But she did that one thing. She gave birth to Mahatma Gandhi, who literally impacted millions of people. So it doesn't have to be some grand thing that you create. But know in your heart that you are here to make a difference. And just because the, 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 the difference or the progress that you're making right now may not be or seem like it's making a massive difference in the world. It's that ripple effect. It's that one person you influence every day that goes out and influences other people. It's that smile that you give to the person at the checkout counter who's not having a great day that uplifts them, that they're able to then uplift others. It's the old lady who you stop to help in the street because she's struggling to carry her bags and you help her to her car. That gives her a sense of hope and faith and humanity and uplifts her soul. 
And then she carries that home with her and she gives that to her family in whatever way. So whatever you feel drawn to is right for you. So let's get into some tapping. Okay, are you ready? Have you thought about the gap of, of where you are right now compared to the vision that you have for where you would like to be? How does that feel? I want you to drop the resistance to the journey. I want you to see that it just is what it is. There's nothing wrong with it. No judgment, no criticism. I want you to just let that go. And that's what we're going to do some tapping on first. So start by tapping on the karate chop point. If you've never done this before, if this is your first time tapping, then just tap on the points that I tap on. Repeat the phrases that I say. And notice what happens in your body, mentally, physically, emotionally. Notice what happens to any resistance that you might be feeling right now. So are you feeling resistance to taking the journey to where you want to go? Are you feeling frustration or disappointment? Are you judging yourself for not being far enough along the journey or as far as you would like along the journey? Are you judging yourself because you haven't got the results that you want yet? Are you ready to let that go? Because that's just resistance. All that judgment, totally unnecessary. That's your ego, totally unnecessary. So tapping on the karate chop point, the side of the hand, repeat after me. Even though I haven't made the progress I'd like to make and I'm not where I want to be, I deeply and completely love and accept all of me right now. Even though I haven't achieved what I want yet. And it feels like I have so much further to go. I deeply and completely Love and accept all of me right now. Even though I haven't made the impact I want to make yet. Or created the wealth that I want to create yet. I choose to be okay with what is right now. I choose to know I'm still unlocking my potential. And I deeply and completely love and accept all of me right now. Okay, tapping through the points. Again, if you've not done this before, just tap on the points, repeat the words that I say. I release all emotional attachment to judgment about my progress. I release all emotional attachment to self-criticism about my progress on this journey. I release all emotional attachment to not having achieved the results I want yet. I release all emotional attachment to not creating the wealth that I want yet. I release all emotional attachment to all judgment about my progress and my wealth status. I release all frustration. I release all disappointment. I release all emotional attachment to this shame and guilt. I 
I release all emotional attachment to this frustration. I release all emotional attachment to this disappointment. I choose to know it's all perfect. I choose to be okay with what is right now. I choose to know I'm in the perfect place for me. I choose to let go of all resistance. I choose to stop judging myself for where I'm at. I choose to love myself for just where I am. I choose to love it all. I choose to see the progress I have made. I choose to see that I've come a long way. I choose to appreciate where I'm at right now. And I choose to know that even though I still have a long way to go, that's okay because I'm not done yet. I choose to embrace the journey and let go of all my expectations. And I choose to be okay with what is. Okay, deep breath. Let it out. Deep breath in. Let it out. Do you feel that heaviness lifting? Do you, do you notice the way I use the word yet? It changes everything. It changes the context. Oh, I haven't achieved that thing yet. So it takes it from, man, it's just moving so slow to, it's okay, I'm making progress. I'm not there yet. And so often we are driven by these arbitrary um, definitions of success or where we should be that are dictated by society, by those people who are around us. How the hell is anybody else an expert on where you should be, on what you should be doing, on how much you should have achieved, on how wealthy you should be, on what your lifestyle should, should look like? Have you appointed experts in your life who are in your mind dictating that you're a failure or you're not successful or you haven't achieved what you should have achieved or you're not good enough. Who have you appointed as the authority in your life to dictate those outcomes for you, to make those judgments for you? Because I can guarantee if you are judging or criticizing yourself, you're doing it because you are comparing yourself according to society's benchmarks, according to somebody else's story that you've allowed to be planted in here. And there's no judgment about this because this is the way the system works. This is the way this puzzle works. We form belief systems, judgments, paradigms in our mind according to what we're exposed to in this lifetime and other lifetimes and previous generations that we have taken their belief systems, their programming, their paradigms and adopted them and lived our lives through them. So it's recognizing that we are living our lives according to the paradigms, the belief systems, the stories, the judgments, the criticisms of others. And once you recognize that, you can start to change that. Now, for most people, that's not an overnight thing. That is a journey that needs to happen. That is an unpacking, an unfolding. It's a learning process. Be okay with that. 
You don't have to get it all done today or yesterday or tomorrow. Just be willing to get it done. You'll get it done in the time that it takes to get it done. Be okay with that. Can you accelerate your progress? Yeah, by the decisions that you make, by the actions that you take, by the stories that you tell yourself, by releasing the resistance, the fears, the doubts, the paradigms, the belief systems, the judgments, the criticisms. By releasing the resistance, you can make much quicker progress. And that is just dropping in that state of trust and faith and knowing that it's all perfect and that you've got this. So now that we've shifted some of that resistance for you, I'm going to do a tapping now on giving yourself permission to embrace the journey and all that comes with it, to face the challenges, to own your power. Are you ready for that? So in your mind, I want you to say, I give myself permission to own my power, to be all that I am. And how true does that feel for you? I give myself permission to own my power and be all that I am. And be all that I am. On a scale of zero to 10, how true do you feel that it is for you? And if you're at a 10, yay you! If you're not, no matter where you are on the scale, we can shift that. So let's shift that. Okay. Starting, we're actually just going to start by tapping on the inside of the eye this time and repeat after me. I give myself permission to know and own my power. I give myself permission to know and unleash my brilliance. I give myself permission to shine brightly. I give myself permission to be the master of my destiny. I give myself permission to define success for myself. I give myself permission to be happy. I give myself permission to be fulfilled. I give myself permission to be satisfied. I give myself permission to be truly successful. I give myself permission to be truly wealthy. I give myself permission to be all that I can be. I give myself permission to be all that I am. I give myself permission to know my truth. I give myself permission to know who I truly am. I give myself permission to be unstoppable. I give myself permission to be all that I can be. I give myself permission to love all of me. I'm grateful for my journey. I'm grateful for where I'm at right now. I'm grateful for all the lessons I've learnt and all the lessons that are to come. I, I'm grateful for the unfolding. I give myself permission to allow the unfolding. I give myself permission 
to relax and allow my journey to unfold. I give myself permission to be happy with where I'm at right now. I give myself permission to relax and allow. Okay, deep breath. And another one, deep breath. And release it. Okay, just let that integrate. So what else do you want to give yourself permission for, to be, to do, to have? It's really good to be able to write those things down that are specific for you. So what we're going to do now is um, to wrap this up, I'm going to do one more tapping because on your journey, only you can define what that is, what that looks like, what you, what your heart desires, your definition of success is unique to you. And the thing is that you also need to have the characteristics and traits and embody the characteristics and traits of a person who creates true wealth and success in their lives. And there are many of these traits. And you have these traits within you. If you are watching this right now and listening to this right now, then you have these traits within you to some extent. You just may have to develop some of them. So as much as there are many, many of these traits, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to articulate in a tapping some of these traits that you need to embrace and embody. And um, we're going to start to open these traits up in you right now. Because as I said, you already have them. You just may not have been exercising them to the fullest extent yet. But you can choose at any time to step into these characteristics and traits right here right now because you are infinitely powerful remember that so let's start by tapping on the inside of the eye just repeat after me i choose to be bold i choose to be brave i choose to have courage I choose to be resilient. I choose to commit to my dreams. I choose to be focused. I choose to be a great learner. I choose to do whatever it takes. I choose to have a no matter what attitude. I choose to be unstoppable. I choose to exercise my infinite power. I choose to take whatever action I need to take. I choose to show up powerfully every day. I choose in favor of my dreams every day. I choose in favor of me every day. I choose to grow and expand every day. I choose to face and release my fears every day. I choose to overcome my doubts every day. I choose to be bold. I choose to be brave. I choose to be brilliant. I choose to be unstoppable. I choose to be all of me. I choose every day to embrace the magic, to embrace and leverage my power, 
to explore my gifts and talents. I choose every day to be all of me. Okay, deep breath. And again, deep breath. And let it out. Okay, so now I want you to tune in to um, how you're feeling right now about where you are compared to where you want to be, where your vision is. And I want you to, um, I want you to really think about the resistance. What resistance do you feel now? Are you feeling less resistance than you were when we started? Are you seeing that there is a magic unfolding, that as you just allow the magic to unfold, as you embrace the challenges and the growth and the expansion and the unfolding and, the, and you just allow it, and you participate in it. Obviously, you've got to participate. If you don't participate, nothing happens. So the participation is your action, is you taking inspired action. I'd love your feedback. I'd love you to know what you to know what your greatest takeaway is from today. And of course, if you would like help with any of this, um, then reach out to me. I have multiple ways I can assist you with various wealth creation strategies, vehicles, paradigms with my Billionaire You program. I work with my Billionaire You clients all the time on helping them to step into their power, on, on um, creating and actually discovering their unique wealth formula because each and every person, including you, has a unique wealth formula that is made up of your skills, your gifts, your talents, your superpowers. And combined with the mindset, combined with the right vehicle, it's all this incredible package that will be your unique wealth formula. And just because you haven't quite discovered it yet, doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. It's just mean that, means that you're still involved in the unfolding and you'll still have a journey to, to um, take on this planet. You never get it all done. Be okay with that. So that's it for today. Um, Sandra, need to anchor those thoughts. Yes, these are powerful thoughts and remind yourself of them every day. So wherever you're at right now, just take a couple of key things that you that really hit you today, write them down somewhere and put them up to remind yourself until you embody those things. Remember, this is, this is a, um, a journey and a process of embodiment. As you embody these things every day more and more, this is when the wealth and the progress accelerates massively. And remember, true, true wealth is not just money. True wealth is the fulfillment, the satisfaction, the love, the relationships, the health, the fulfillment, the, the inner peace, the trust, the understanding, the certainty. True wealth is being able to embody all of that and so much more. And yes, money's a part of that, but it's not the predominant part of that. It's just a part of that. So build true wealth around all of that and you will have the most rewarding, amazing life ever. So I look forward to seeing you next week. If you are ready to reach out to me and discuss how I can help you, then I'm right here. Just reach out to me, private message me, email me. I would love to have a conversation with you. Until next time, take care and bye for now. If you've enjoyed this video today, then come and join the Online Business for Spiritual Entrepreneurs Facebook group where I share lots more training, information, tapping and different things that are going to help you to get from where you are to where you want to be as a spiritual entrepreneur. Just click the link below. I look forward to seeing you in the group very soon.